Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our check-in video uh, for Psych 5 Social Psychology for Saturday, February 27th. And as I always do, we're just going to go over a few items regarding some of your assignments and just some important reminders to keep you up to speed on what you should be uh, doing in the course. Uh, first item here is that uh, your second exam was graded this week and you got your feedback and your score, so make sure you take a look at some of those comments, especially on your essay questions there. Uh, the next item is that Unit 3 is now open. That's going to cover Chapters uh, 6, 7, and 8, our next three chapters. So uh, you can get started working on all that content there in that unit. The uh, quizzes, the discussions, the uh, inquisitive chapters, all that's uh, open for you to work on now. And uh, please do watch the uh, brief uh, Unit 3 introduction video that you'll find right, right at the top of the uh, Unit 3 uh, module. The next uh, major item here is that the first part of your APA style literature review paper is going to be due uh, uh, next uh, this this coming Monday, uh, March uh, 1st. And so uh, the APA literature review module is found uh, right below the unit 5 module for all of our course content. So if you scroll down past unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, underneath 5, you'll find the APA literature review module and you'll find the instructions there at the top of that uh, module there. When you uh, open up those instructions right at the very top, you'll find a short uh, kind of uh, video that I posted there that just gives you some walkthrough instructions with some screenshots so you know exactly what you need to do. Please do make sure you read everything I have there in the instruction module, but you might want to watch that video first because I will walk you through and show you what's there in the instructions to help you easily figure out what you need to do and what you need to uh, submit there. Um, one thing to keep in mind, you'll find in the instruction there, just a couple of important items, is that uh, your paper has to be on a topic from our course that is social psychology. And so you're going to pick your topic and then you're going to provide a thesis statement. Your thesis statement is basically an indication of how you're going to approach your topic. And uh, you also have to include at least five uh, references that are in APA uh, style and format. Uh, please take a look at the uh, sample thesis statements that I provide for you right there in the instructions. There's also a separate file, which is a completed sample of a topic and thesis statement and the list of uh, five references for you to look at there. As far as the APA style is concerned, if you scroll down to the lower part of the instructions, you'll find an embedded file there. Um, APA style and peer-reviewed articles that'll basically tell you some important things about getting your references in APA style and where to locate easily some uh, um, proper caliber of references that are academic peer-reviewed articles. So take a look at that. You also might want to check out the embedded uh, rubric file. That's basically the great grading rubric, the standards you're going to be judged by there. So please take a quick look at that because that'll show you uh, common errors that are made and the uh, costly um, points that will uh, be rendered there if you uh, make some of those mistakes. So definitely avoid that by taking a look at that rubric there. Um, to submit your uh, first part of your APA literature review paper, you will see right below the instructions in the APA module, you will see a, a submission area for your uh, submission. So go ahead and take a look at that there. It must be in Microsoft Word. No other file types will be accepted there. And please do not email your uh, submission to me. It has to be uploaded there in that clearly labeled submission area. So again, go to the APA Literature Review module. You cannot miss the submission area because it's clearly labeled uh, submission. So you can't miss it there. Uh, your uh, next quiz and chapter discussion will be on Chapter 6, and that will be due next Friday, uh, March 5th. So again, remember, you can always check due dates there next to the item itself in the uh, module there for Unit 3. Uh, you can also look, on, at, look at your to-do list. You can also click on the syllabus link in the course menu. And you can also click on the calendar link in the Canvas main menu there to uh, see all of your assignments all in one place. Okay. <laughs> and so uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to uh, say for this weekend here. Uh, again, if you need anything, you all know you can just reach out through email me. Eat, just email me there, pardon me and I'll get back to you pretty quickly. I like to get back to you probably like in a few hours if possible, if not within 24 hours there. I always get back pretty quickly there, so uh, please, if you need something, just reach out and let me know. Otherwise, uh, I hope I will see you 
at our next uh, live class session, which will be this coming Monday there at 1 p.m. So please show up for that if you can and ask any questions that you've got, and I'll just go over some of these same kind of reminders there. And uh, otherwise, I will see you in the lecture videos, and please make sure you're watching those. you get a lot more out of the course if you do. Otherwise, have a great weekend, and I'll see you in class next week.